So now that we have a good tight ridge line set up, now we have to attach our tarp. Now there's many different ways to do this. This is just my preferred method. I'm gonna utilize short length of cord to attach my tarp to the ridge line. To do this, I simply pass one end of my cord through my tie out loop, and I create a slipped overhand knot around the line, which creates my slipped overhand loop, which I then cinch down, now locked on. Nice thing about this is when I'm done, simply pull on the tail end, that breaks the knot. So I've now got my tie out cord attached to the tarp. My tarp is gonna be running to the left. It ends over here, the top is up here. It's gonna be hanging off to the left. What I'm gonna do with this tie out cord is lay it over top of my ridge line. I'm gonna make a taut line hitch. I wanna make two wraps around my ridge line. We're gonna start by laying the cord on top. We're gonna make two full wraps around. One, two, and these two wraps are gonna to go towards my tarp. Again, my tarp is hanging off to the left, and it ends over here. So my two wraps are going to the left towards my tarp. Now for the third wrap around, we're gonna cross over and come to the outside. What I like to do is hold the line up here when I come around for that third loop. What I'll do is create a bite and feed it through that loop. This makes a slipped taut line hitch. I find these don't hold together all too well like this. So what I do is take a second bite and feed it through that loop just for some added security. And that is a slipped taut line hitch. So the nice thing about this slip taut line hitch is that it will slide around on my ridge line, but when I put tension under my tarp and it pulls inward, that knot friction locks in place and it won't slide until I either break the tension and manually slide it myself, or if I pull on this tail end, it quick releases and the whole thing just falls off. So I'll show you the other side of the tarp now. This time, tarp ends over here and it is running to the right. That means our first two loops around the ridge line are going to go towards the tarp, towards the right. So again, we're going to cross our connecting line on top of the ridge line. Pull all the way around it once, pull all the way around it twice. Then for the third time, I like to hold this slack up. We're crossing behind, we're not crossing in front, we're crossing behind. We're going to put a bite through that loop that's formed. And then for added security, a second bite through there. You can pull on that cord a bit to make sure there's no slack in there. So now that we got both corners of our tarp attached with those slipped taut line hitches, we can go ahead, slide them out, put tension on the tarp. tarp is nice and tight, those knots are holding tension, from here we can go ahead and set up the rest of our shelter. There you have it, just a very simple lean-to styled shelter, utilizing those taut line hitches to connect up to our ridge line. Very very simple to do, I really like them just for the fact that they are so simple to tie. And when you want to untie them, just pull on that tail end and the whole thing falls apart. No fiddling with untying knots or wood toggles, anything like that. Just one length of cord, you can get set up real fast. Especially nice during the summer months of the year when you're going to be experiencing rain, wet weather. You can get your tarp up nice and quick. Get your gear out of the weather. Get yourself out of the weather. Try to stay as dry as possible. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I will be back right away with another one. And I hope to see you there. Until then, God bless and happy trails.